what is going on guys welcome back to the channel I'm gonna be kind of doing a little necessity check on the daily so I did get those rear camber arms from power tricks in so we're gonna be throwing those into the daily but I did notice last week when I was actually gonna start working on that I noticed that my bushings where my coilovers come down into the knuckle the bushing that uh, basically the coilover bolts to to the knuckle in there is shot so basically what I got to do is swap them out so more uh bushing change info for you guys in education so basically all we're gonna do is uh, get the car jacked up make sure it's safe with jack stands and then just get into it okay so now since we have the wheel off as you can see if we come right behind the hub this is on the driver's side this bushing here is what i'm talking about so the coil over comes down and wraps into here you can see that metal sleeve. So basically what we have to do is just like what we did with the subframe, is we have to take this bolt off, and as we take this bolt off, there's gonna be a bushing that metal sleeve. What we have to do, get the rubber out of there, cut that uh, metal sleeve, and then put in the new white line bushing. How I found out that this was, there was an issue with this was I tried to do this last weekend, and when I did it, as I was spinning the bolt head to loosen it, the entire bushing itself was, um, rotted and just destroyed so it just like kind of just destroyed itself so the reason being is that there's a rubber bushing and then inside the rubber bushing there's a metal sleeve and i believe that this bolt is uh caught up a little bit maybe it just rusted or corroded inside that metal sleeve so that's what caused that to do that so uh that's what we're gonna do so it's pretty simple um and the main reason why we're doing this is to get this arm off the car so what i'm gonna do is unbolt the bolt in the nut from this move the coil over out of the way and then go from there and just try to cut that bad boy out uh press it in the kind of press that you're gonna need i just went to my local auto parts store and i just got this kit to rent it's just like a ball joint press kind of thing so pretty simple to use uh, i'll walk you guys through all right guys so uh as you can see i took the bolt off of the coil over coming down in here and now we have our bushing. So you can see the bushing, you can actually see up top, it's completely gone up top, so there's only some here now. So what we're gonna have to do is uh, get this bushing out. So practically, we're either gonna burn it out or uh, you can kind of use like a screw, uh, screwdriver method or like a drill method, drill it all out. Um, these aren't liquid filled, so you should be good. It, it shouldn't be too messy. And then um, we'll take this center uh, metal sleeve out, then we'll cut this little sleeve here out, and then we'll press in and we're good to go. she is all out so now I mean it's totally up to you you guys can burn out the rest of this or whatever honestly you don't really have to so all I'm gonna do now is grab the sawzall make a diagonal cut here and then what we'll do is uh, pry uh, the inner sleeve here with like a screwdriver and be able to pull it out There's your outer sleeve. Perfect. So now what you want to do is basically just clean up the surface area here. Uh, just make sure there's no rust, no corrosion, no cuts or anything like that. Just it's going to make it much more simpler when you're trying to put your bushing in. So that's what I'm going to go do now. All right, guys. So now we're just going to uh, lube up the inside 
and the outside of this race here, okay? And then we're also gonna do is actually lube up the inner race of the hub. Okay guys, so as you see, uh, the white line kit comes with uh, two new actual bushings here, okay? And then they come with four different sleeves. So what you wanna do is you wanna actually match up the sleeves to your bolt, right? So if I use this sleeve, see how that's huge? You don't want that. You want something like this, where there's gonna be no play in it. It's just gonna slide right through. So, and then um, as you can see, my bolts are pretty rusted so you just want to make sure that you clean all this uh, corrosion and deposits off of that and then also um whatever's going on in here too you kind of want to hit like a scotch bright or uh just like kind of clean it up just so it makes it a little bit easier when you're actually lubing these up and trying to push these in they are gonna be able to do that um as you'll see too you're also going to need to lube these in to be able to press these into the actual bushings itself here so you just wanna make sure you do that. Um, again, just take your time with this. You don't, you wanna make sure that you're not gonna be uh, messing up these bushings or anything like that. Now, the tricky part. So, typically what I do is I try to move the coil over out of the way. It's got a slight bend, okay? So you can kind of bend it back a bit. Okay, so I slid that out of the way. So now you have this, everything's greased up and looped up. So now what you guys are gonna have to do is grab your seat clamp press here, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the little trick that I did so I can uh, get these in here. So the biggest pain that I've seen thus far is uh, just trying to get these started because for some reason, I think the white lines races are like a little bit bigger than what they should be, I don't know. So um, the best thing to do is try to match this up okay, to where you're gonna be able to get it started. And it's gotta be centered, because if it's not centered, it's not gonna work. So you wanna make sure, like right there, that's not centered. It's cockeyed, so it's not gonna work. So you wanna make sure it's pretty much perfect, because if it's not, you're gonna mess up the inner race and that's not gonna be a good sign. All right guys, so how I have it set up here, as, as you can see, I have the C-clamp here, I have this here, it is as you guys can see right here, it's where the C-clamp comes up, holds it against the knuckle there, and you're good to go. So I'm basically just uh, having it fully seated now and we should be good. All right guys, there's side one. This was the bushing that was actually like destroyed already. So as you can see, this is the metal sleeve that goes in the middle. It's all rubber in here. And then now there's another metal sleeve that we have to cut out that really, really thin one. So you just wanna be careful when you're doing that with your saws out, but that's what it looks like when it comes out. And then uh, basically what we're gonna do is do that. And then we're gonna lube up uh, the new bushing and press it in right here. All right guys, got the second one done. Good to go, now we can put these cam camber arms in and uh, go from there. So thanks guys for watching. Again, just make sure you're following these steps of this tutorial. Uh, the main reason why I really got, I kind of noticed something was that I was getting some noise in the rear end and whatnot. So I kind of went around and checked everything out and I found that those bushings were shot. So, but going off from there, honestly, it's pretty simple. Just take your time again. And uh, if you have any questions, just reach out down in the comments or whatnot. I'll leave a link in the description for the parts that where I got them from. 
And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, I got some more footage coming up for you guys very shortly, so stay tuned and uh, can't wait to the next one. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button here. And if you guys are looking for any additional content, all you have to do is click one of the links here. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.